Today we are here to talk about the fact that caregivers will say, oh, my caregiving days are over. But really, are caregiving days ever over? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com on their helpful information for caregivers and aging adults. So today you may be taking care of a spouse or an elderly parent. Some caregivers in my support group, it's called the Caregiving Trap, it is right here on Facebook, say, oh, my elderly parent passed away or my spouse passed away. My caregiving days are over. Well, what we don't realize is that we, as an adult, are our own caregiver. We're the best caregiver that we could have until other people step in and start taking care of us. When we look at the experience of being a caregiver as a life experience and as a learning experience, we have the opportunity to learn not only how to care for parents and spouses, how to care for ourselves, and how to pass this along to take care of our families. Many of us take care of our families in other ways not even related to caregiving. Raise children, work, take care of homes, do a lot of things that benefit our families. But in life, what's one of the biggest aspects that carries us through? It's actually feeling good every day. It's actually the idea of good health. How many people do you know that say, oh, I don't feel good today? And they're not motivated to do anything about it. So let's talk about some common caregiving concerns and what we can learn from these concerns. The first one, and we talk about this a lot, is the idea of, oh, my parent is so stubborn. My spouse is so stubborn. Well, stubbornness can be a positive thing if it means that we are persistent and we don't give up and we keep going. Where stubbornness can be a problem is if we are in denial about a health situation or denial about how serious something is, that type of stubbornness is not really good. We can be too stubborn if we don't accept suggestions for others, if we're not open to learning, if we're stuck in a rut, that stubborn can be bad. Then we have the issue of other family members who don't want to help us as a caregiver. <laughs> that could be your brothers and sisters. It really could be anybody. But when you look at life, what is that about? Is it about timing? How many of us have a day where we think, oh my gosh, I realize the importance of this thing. Why didn't this occur to me two weeks ago or a year ago or five years ago? I would be so much further along if I would have just paid attention. Well, that's the opportunity that your brothers and sisters have today in agreeing to help you care for mom or dad or not agreeing to help you care for mom or dad. It could be a timing issue. It might not be the right time for them. They may not be in a place mentally where they're willing to do that. But what I can tell you for sure is that one day they will be a caregiver for themselves. They will be a caregiver for an elderly parent. They will be a caregiver for someone. Look at all of the things that your brothers and sisters who aren't helping today are missing out learning that they will eventually learn one day when they're ready or when a health issue happens or when something happens to force them to be a caregiver where they can't say, I'm not going to do this. Then we have the healthcare system and how difficult that can be to work with. We all know that. Trying to call insurance companies, work with doctors who don't provide care. There are so many issues in the healthcare system. But the question is, if we look at it from a positive perspective, what can we learn? We can learn things in caring for our elderly parents and our spouses that can benefit us that we can also teach our children. Caregiving is a family issue. It's a lifelong issue. It's all about us taking care of loved ones, ourselves, our children, our family members. It's so important. And then we have, let's go back to the, oh, I don't feel good today. Well, for anybody who says that, my question to you is, what are you gonna do about that? Are you gonna continue just not to feel good? Are you gonna continue to let life pass you by? Today, it's the only day that we have. Yesterday's gone. 
we may not have tomorrow. If you don't feel good today, if you have issues in your life today, what are you going to do about that today to take care of yourself? What are you going to do about that in taking care of a loved one? And how can your children and your family benefit from everything that you are learning? Caregiving is a family issue. It's all about us taking care of loved ones and our families. And there is so much opportunity. If you're a caregiver and you're struggling, information is on my website at PamelaDWilson.com. There is a lot of free information there in my library, my articles, my blog, my weekly podcasts, all of these videos that I do. And if you go to the link in this video post, there's a link to a course on my website that you can take. It's about 60 hours. It is all about learning how to take care of elderly parents, which helps you also learn how to take care of yourself. Have a fabulous day today, everybody. I will see you again soon in another video. And Lorraine, thank you for watching. Have a great day today.